Hello everyone, my name is Haven, and today I am playing If on a Winter's Night for Travelers. So, looking this up, it looked like If on a Winter's Night, a Traveler is a novel, so I'm wondering if this has any kind of correlation to that novel. I've never read it before, but it was very interesting uh, to see that, so I'm, I'm very curious to know, to be honest. But this is supposed to be like maybe like an hour long, maybe an hour and thirty minute long playthrough. So I figure I make I would make the standalone, considering I've been wanting to do three scary games for a while, so that I can get caught up in my games. But you know, usually when it comes to stuff that are long, I figure I might as well at least make them their own. So it says, "A tale of dark and troubling things." Upon a Winter's Night, Four Travelers is a narrative-driven point-and-click adventure that explores the stories of four different characters and a masked ball taking place on a train in the late 1920s. So we have, I guess, maybe four parts to it. You got the silent room, which says, In a luxurious hotel room in Rome, freshly arrived from Turin Carlo, awaits for his, er, arrived from Turin, Carlo waits for his lover Patrick to arrive. However, as the shadow of fascism looms over or ever, ever larger, the tension of meeting and constant hiding is beginning to take its toll. And then the next one says, The slow vanishing of Lady Winterborn. Lady Winterborn has lost her husband in a tragic accident. Now letters from pretenders to her vast fortune keep arriving every day at her mansion yet the only thing she's interested in is the bottle of laudanum in her cabinet now i know laudanum was in um amnesia i think it was either amnesia or penumbra and i think wasn't that like a, a drug of some sorts i can't remember but the third one says a nameless ritual i have to look behind my uh mic uh Harassed, ridiculed, and belittled by his peers, Dr. Jordan Samuels is restored to the occult sciences, or resorted to the occult scientist in a desperate attempt to turn the tables on his tormentors. But is he truly ready to face the guardian of the threshold? And then the last one says, if on a winter's night, as much as Layla enjoys her job, sometimes she yearns for a bit of a variety to distract her from her daily routine even if it means going against our very powerful boss's orders. So this seems like this is going to be a very, very interesting and very detailed game, and I'm looking forward to playing it. So let's go on this journey together. February 1929, somewhere in Central Asia. Very interesting. Young man. Is everything alright, young man? You seem agitated. Are you not enjoying yourself? Oh yes, yes, certainly. It it's a lovely party indeed. It is, isn't it? Such delightful costumes and the music exquisite. Oh, but where are my manners? My name is Layla. I'm Carlo. Pleased to meet you, um... Sweetie, what is wrong? I can tell there is definitely something on your mind. Are you looking for somebody? Oh, no. It's just that, um... I know it must be it must sound peculiar, but... I can't speak. I can't seem to be able to recall how I got here. What do you mean? Surely you must remember something. Well, I was at this hotel in Rome. That I do remember. Rome, what a beautiful city. Were you on vacation? In a way, I was there to meet my... Aramor. I was waiting for him to arrive. The silent room. So this is the first part. So, I... While I don't mind the reading. Ah, beautiful Rome. So glad to see you again. 
still as majestic, as decadent, and of course, as loud as ever. Oh well, I'll sleep when I'm back in Turin, I guess. What time did Patrick say he would arrive? I'm sure I left his telegram right here somewhere. Ah, here it is. My shooting star, thrilled to see you. Please check in at the Grand Roma. Everything taken care of. We'll be there around noon. Love, P. He's thrilled to see me. Thrilled. Oh my, this is going to be rough. I guess I can click it. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought that he was saying that. Oh, I feel so stupid. You can't tell. That's that's kind of the problem there. Okay, so... Hmm. He's thrilled to see me. Thrilled. So what I hate is... Okay, be still, my beating heart. I should take a quick look in the bathroom mirror. Make sure I look presentable. Also check if room service delivered the flowers I ordered. Everything needs to be perfect. Oh, okay, so before I go any further, I was kind of hoping that I could be able to do the dialogue myself. You know, usually with these kinds of games, you would it would be nice that way you're not being rushed to read something. But, I mean, I guess this is just something I'm just going to have to deal with, unfortunately. And I don't think there's any options. Uh, text speed. Okay. Let me... I don't know. Maybe we want to go slow. Let me save. Okay, cool. I'm hoping that means slow it down. But, so far, so good. Okay, uh... Bed. I'm so tired from my trip. I just want to take a nap. But Patrick said, should be here. Maybe we can call room service and have breakfast in bed. Chest of drawers. This reminds me of like the old Carmen San Diego games. Socks, underwear, a couple of shirts. And that Rolex Patrick gave me at the first party we met. I'm sure he, he would like me to wear it. I love how they so fancy. I love this. I really do. I really like this. Uh, secretary. Thrilled to see me. Thrilled! Okay, so I think that all that's left... Oh, I never did try the phone. Room service, one of the greatest inventions of mankind, or humankind. I'm like messing up so bad right now, but it's okay. Uh, let's see. Been there, done that. Well, well, well. You look handsome, devil. Are you lucky, handsome devil? You, man, I am just not in it today. Oh shit! What if he's the real one? Well, the one, the real one. Can you imagine having to tell mama and everything? Or yeah. Okay. You know what? We'll cross that bridge. When and if we ever get to it. For now. Just look dashing, young man. I'm like, I'm like brain dead right now. I'm sorry. I just got off work, so. Drink me some, uh, sun kissed. Yeah, that's what this is. Alright. Mmm. I think that's everything I need. Okay. Uh, street. Who even needs an alarm clock with this part of pandemonium? Jeez, I'm just like stumbling over my words. I don't know if I almost regret starting this. But, let's go on, right? You certainly can't buy good taste with money. Okay, so I think... 
because I've got everything, right? Uh, I've done the bed. Wait. Really fine bed. Can't wait to get it full of biscotti crumbs. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize you could actually just move. Wow, I'm learning more and more about this game. Whiskey, gin, vermouth, amaretto, capari, of course. Yum. Is that... Uh, limicello? Uh, I hope... I probably butchered that, but... There's the flowers. This reminds me of that party. Actually, I don't remember much... That much about it. Just that there was togas involved. Patrick loves the whole Roman Emperor aesthetic. He'll never admit it, but I'm sure it, it's part of the reason he lives here. Americani. There's even a radio in the room. A radio! This place really has everything. Hmm. Oh. Almost read that. Well, you got, hmm, I wonder how this works, or I think I better leave it for Patrick. Uh, well, considering I don't understand how to use it, I might just leave it for Patrick. I think I better leave it for Patrick. Oh, I see. It's market day. What a racket. Yeah, clearly, you can hear it. Could this possibly be the loudest street in Rome? Sounds like it. This very expensive glass table feels like it's missing something. Mm, like what? Oh, maybe the flowers. Great, room service delivered. But I should move them somewhere else where they stand out a bit more. The table. Much better. And here's the card. Just as I requested. To my one and only. He's going to love it. That must be him. Is that the phone? Wait, no. It's the door buzzer. Patrick. Okay. Let's go to the door. That must be Patrick. Carlo. Patrick, so happy to see you. Look at you. It's been too long. That's my Italian accent, I guess. I've missed you. Me too. I'm so happy you made it all the way here. So how do you like the place? You mean the room or the city? Both are quite excessive. The room, pretty fancy, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know what, I think I like the painting better. So I might just go with that one instead. Very much so. Especially the painting over there in the bedroom. The artist really gave it all. It's a sight to behold. Oh. I must see it with my own eyes. I forgot how to do the accent. <laughs> This way, I presume. Right. <laughs> oh God, I'm so sorry. You better be. You're not the only one who has to sleep with that over his head. Absolutely fair. I'll have them transfer you immediately. Uh, it's okay. Look at this amazing bed, though. Oh, wait. Wrong accent. <laughs> wink, wink. What do you say? 
Wouldn't you rather get a drink? We should really make the most of that amazing equipped bar I saw in the living room. Even if it's only a, in solidarity with my fellow Americans suffering under the grip of the Boston Act. So I think this is probably around, what, Prohibition, maybe? Uh, well, I don't want to seem rude by saying that. So I might say, oh, sure, coming right up. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, sure, coming right up. That's my bambino. Let's do this. Okay, so. So, uh, apparently I'm not really all for drinking, though. I guess because of how early it is. So, one for Patrick, one for me. Salute. Cheers. Watch it be poisoned or some shit. <coughs> Have you seen there's a radio and everything? Did you try to find some music? Oh, it didn't cross my mind. But feel free if you want. Maybe I got it going too slow. Don't mind if I do. There. Isn't that nice? Oh, by the way, those flowers are for you. Oh, they are absolutely lovely. Looks like he's blushing. And look, they come with a card. To my one and only. Charlie, Carlo, I need to tell you something. Want to sit down? I'm fine here, thanks. Look, Carlo, we can't keep doing this. I'm sorry. Hmm. I think the more appropriate response, I mean, even though I guess if in the moment you'd say, are you serious, you're dumping me? But I don't think it's that he's dumping him, just like, I don't know. I just feel like this is more appropriate, maybe? So. We're gonna do this. I was probably leaning out of frame there, sorry. Why? Don't you like me anymore? Come on, Carlo. You know it's not that. I like you. This, this doesn't mean that I... Look, you know just as well as I do that it wasn't meant to last. Don't play dumb now, please. I'm not playing dumb. I truly was starting to believe we were made for each other. And where exactly did you get that idea? Well, in your telegram, for example. I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you the one playing dumb now? Here, let me get it from the other room, and I'll show you. You're exhausting, Carlo. Okay, so now we gotta with this thing. So something's not adding up. I think they, somebody may have set this up. Here it is. Thrilled to see me, he said. Undisputable proof that he loves me. My shooting star. I see. How can I be so naive? Thrilled to dump me. That's what he was. Your shooting star. Of course. Bleeding. Passing glimpse. And then gone. Is that how you justify it? Or justify it to yourself? I'm just some crazy adventure? 
Or did the deuce put the fear of God in you? I guess it's a deuce. It's not that. And it has nothing to do with you. It's just wrong. I'm sorry, Carla. Well, if it was wrong, then why even pursue it, right? That just wouldn't make sense. Uh, I don't know what would be more. And it's not that necessarily what would be more appropriate. I just wouldn't know. I mean, this one seems right. Like, are you sure? Are you surely? Oh, sure, you can't be serious. Even though I think of the the movie Airplane when I when I see this, surely you can't be serious. I am serious. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Um, maybe he's not gay, so I'm assuming that this was in fact a passing fling for him. But you know, for some that to lead somebody on like that without in fact telling them, hey, this is just a, you know just something that's not not meant to be long term. I think he should have been more open about that. So I feel like this is probably more appropriate. Oh, you surely can't be serious now. Just say you're afraid of being deported and cut the crap. Look, I don't expect you to understand. But I have read those articles. These medical journals. Carlo, there are doctors. They can help. They have this new therapy. As soon as I found out about it, I told my wife everything. About you, me, about this whole thing. She knows it was me. Uh, malaise, something beyond my control, and she supports me unconditionally. We'll go through this together, discreetly, and our marriage will be stronger for it in the end. Carlo, you should think about it too. Apparently there's this hospital near Turin, in Lingno. Carlo, they can cure you. Hmm. Patrick, no, not you. Please, or I'm speechless, there's such power. I think this would be more appropriate because at this point, thinking that this is all such a delusion, and I get it, around this time, they did think that being gay was a a mental disorder in a way. It was mentally, they, you know, hence why they end up pitting people in mental hospitals for it. And at some point, I think you could even claim that, you know, because it was mental illness, you could claim to be gay that day and just miss out of work you know from my understanding that could be i could be wrong about that but um yeah it was really considered a mental disorder so of course it would it's not too far-fetched to believe that he would believe this you know patrick would believe this but of course our character you know carlo he knows it's not you know he's he knows for a fact that this is not just some kind of mental illness that he truly is who he is. You know, he's truly gay. And maybe Patrick isn't. You know, maybe Patrick is bisexual, bi curious. I have no idea. I can't say for sure. We barely know the character enough to really determine that. But um, it is very heartbreaking for Carlo, though. You know, to fall in love with someone who I guess is so short sighted. I, I would think because. If he has feelings for Carlo, you would think that maybe it's more than what these supposed doctors are saying. And you gotta think medical science at the time is just dog shit. So, uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, the first one. Yeah. Patrick, no, not you, please. After all we've shared? After all these moments together? Sick? You really hate yourself so much? That you don't, that you think a doctor can cure you of what you feel for me? Carlo, oh, I can't feel anything for you. I have a wife, I have children, I am a man. And this is what a man does. Mm. I think the person would probably be more... I feel like Patrick probably is scared. Because, you know, in that time, if anybody found out you were gay, that, that was persecution. So, and this is like with the early, early 1900s, I'd say. So yeah, it's terrible. But I don't think he 
I mean, I feel like he is scared, but I, I'm not too sure. I can't say I know the guy well enough to really determine this. So I'm gonna go with the first response. Patrick, I know you're scared. The future isn't looking good right now. Giving up seems like the easiest thing to do. But we don't need fixing, and you know it. This is not who you are. Oh, this is such a waste of time. What did I think it was a good idea to tell you in person? I'm sorry, Carlo, but that's all I can give you. I need to go home now. Can you please call room service and order me a taxi cab? Taxi cab. Yeah, I think I'd be... This would probably be the more appropriate response. You really have some nerve. If you want a taxi cab, call one yourself. Okay, fine. I'll ask for one at the reception desk then. This is what I get for trying to make things easier on a loser like you. Goodbye, Carlo. Go back to Turin. It's over. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Just walk away. Go back to that wife you don't love and those children you hate. You are worse than sick, Carlo. You are deranged. I am so sorry for you. Move away. I'm done with you. Get your hands off me. Oh. I was not expecting it to escalate like that. Wow. That is crazy. I'm surprised nobody's come by yet. Okay, I was gonna say. Oh god, Patrick. Oh god. So, Patrick is dead. Okay, so what are our options? I mean, we could leave. I would. It's probably the phone. Oh wait, what did that say? What happened? Why am I standing here? I was on my way to the bathroom. I need to wash my face. I need to calm down. Okay, so now... Did the painting change? I actually don't remember. I don't remember that. Okay, yeah, because it was like more romantic the first time around, but I, I believe, but now looking at it, it's not. What am I going to do now? He told his wife. Everything is going to know, or everybody's going to know. Everybody here knows my name. They know who I am. There's no way out. There's nowhere I can go. Oh God, there's really no way out, is there? I'm sorry, I never wanted this. Forgive me, wherever you are. Please forgive me. I feel like something is going to happen. It's an invitation to some kind of masked ball. RSVP not required. So this is supposed to be mask? It slithers. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully I put a warning for this beforehand. And next thing you know, I'm here in this train with a drink in my hand. And now, this all feels unreal. Like a strange dream. Like I shouldn't really be here. Oh dear, what a terrible experience that must have been. I'm not surprised that you're feeling disoriented. 
Excuse me, I am so sorry to interrupt. Not at all. What is it, darling? Don't mind. Do you mind if I take a seat? Of course not. Please, go ahead. Thank you so much. I have been looking all over for my husband, but I cannot find him. I am quite certain that we were supposed to meet here, yet nobody I speak to seems to have seen him. And what does your husband look like, miss? Winterbourne. Valerie Winterbourne. My husband is Henry Winterbourne. Surely you must know him from the papers. Not that it would matter here. But I am confident that if he were around, I would have recognized him already. Do you remember when you last saw him? Of course, it was... This is embarrassing, but I... I'm not quite sure. so sure right now. It's alright, dearie. What do you remember, then? It was raining. Okay, we're going on to her story now. The Slow Banishing of Lady Winterborn. This is a very interesting game. I feel like these are all, these are all aspects of everybody's suicide. So it is very interesting to say the least. Okay. Glass decanter with laudanum. My medicine keeps the nightmares at bay. I feel like laudanum is like a form of alcohol, I, I would imagine. But there's not much left. I really need to look that up, look what laudanum is. I, I feel like it, it's, it is like a form of drug though. No. Oh, so you won't look at yourself in the mirror. No lights, or no light, it hurts. These are for tomorrow. Is it tomorrow yet? If I close my eyes, I can almost hear. How long has it been raining? What day is this? Rain. Have I been sleeping? It's dark. There, there used to be a basis here. Outside, but it is yesterday. I cannot go outside when it is yesterday. How so? Okay. Shh, quiet now. Hmm. Oh, it's Lord Soxball of Yarn. He always brings it with him when he sneaks in at bedtime. Where is he? Maybe he got caught outside in the rain? It's hard to see anything from here. Hmm. Maybe I should go back to bed, but... No, it seems like I just don't want to. Oh, I'm gonna look to see outside for the cat. I can't see anything. Maybe the servants have seen him? It's hard to see anything with this rain. I should ask the maid if she's seen him. Oh, so now we're going outside. It is probably chilly out in the hallway. I should cover up with... I should cover up just in case. What was I doing? I think I forgot. I'm just tired. I haven't slept well. Yes, I just need a bit more rest. I'll get changed some later. Yes, or tomorrow. I'm just so tired right now. A short nap will do me good, no doubt. But first, my medicine. There's so little left. Why hasn't the maid replenished it yet? Oh, what was that? Hmm. 
There's an ant crawling on me. A letter from Lord Cavendish. What could he possibly want? Sorry for your loss. My most sincere condolences. What? Is this a joke? Has my husband seen this? Did the maid bring this? Where is she? I think she's in denial of her husband's passing. Wait, oh, I won't go back this way. I won't look through the window, just in case. Because I don't want to miss anything. It feels like it's inside my head. Dusty vase. Some faded memory. Something not quite here. The housemaid should be here in her chambers. Okay, well, at least I chose the right direction. What is this? I hear voices. She's not alone. I think there's a man in there with her. The door is too thick. I can't make out what they're saying. Disturbed shadows? I need to find a way to listen to what they're saying. Well then, maybe her husband's in there. Some old, old book. Oh, yeah. That is true. You can use a glass to... to hear. The door itself is probably too thick, but maybe. Ah, perfect. Not since the conserver conservatory incident. What about her laudanum consumption? Has it decreased at all? No, but she mustn't have much left. I haven't refilled her dick the cancer in several days, and I've hidden the rest in the cabinet downstairs. Good. And this cabinet is locked? It is. The glass is thick and the lock strong. It is vital that she doesn't find the key. She needs to regain her composure and her health. More letters are arriving. And rumors ab abound. Oh, the display cabinet in the parlor. How dare they keep the key from me? I should burst into that room right now. But I will deal with that tomorrow. I think I will have my medicine now. I feel like... I'm not too sure. Maybe that's not her husband. Maybe that's the butler. A shadow. Just a shadow. Okay, so we're there. We just... I still have some medicine in my room. I can go downstairs tomorrow. These drugs must be doing something to her. They have to be. There's laudanum, whatever it is. Because she'll have her mind set on something and then she just forgets. Now maybe that's the symptom of laudanum, is just losing your memory. And I guess that would make sense, right? With, especially with amnesia. She's basically having amnesia. Short nap will do me good, no doubt. But first, my medicine. Oh, wow. My favorite bedside book, Proust Allah. What should you tempt Peru? As soon as I read two pages, I start dozing off. Hmm. What shall I do today? I could play my harp for a little bit. Maybe afterward, 
tea in the conservatory with a good book. It is not dark yet. I don't need a ton on the lamp. Sleep is for the sick and the feeble. It is so warm outside. I don't think I need anything else. There's a cat hair all over the carpet, as per usual. <sighs> it's very interesting. So I feel like she's addicted to laudanum. And she's running away from something. But what exactly? I didn't, I, I didn't want to sit there forever. The most wistful of melodies, Mansua Sati will be a true master of mel melancholy. But right now, I am in the mood for something more cheerful. Oh, we can look at the painting. Henry protested at first about including Lord Sox in the portrait. But if I am a winterborn, then so is he. Yeah. I mean, animals are family too. Some family pictures. These three over here are my favorites. Maman and I in Paris, February 1923. Maman and I in Vienna, April 1926. Maman and I in New York, October 1925. I remember I found some great records from my gramophone on these trips. Listening to them always brings back the most delightful memories. He should be here any time now. If I catch him just when he is arriving, I can usually see his automobile from here. So, I guess we're going to leave. Alright. Things seem so much different now. Mom and Dad, oh how they hated posing for this. They think painting is out and that there is nothing as exciting as photography these days. I cannot say I disagree, but it is so lovely to have them here on the walls, like old-fashioned aristocrats. Dear Grandpapa, be of voices, he believes in me when nobody else did. I know I said I butchered that, but I'm sorry. The catalog from the auction in which the vast was required. Classic uh, King Hua vase from the Ming period, invaluable, and one of the the few pieces the family can still afford to keep. Okay. My little cousins from Amin's, I miss them so much. It is not dark yet. I hope Henry won't lock himself up in his study when he gets back. So that was... So she says this was the maid's office. Because he is of his business trips, we barely get any time together lately. So, when she was not in the state, she was saying that's the maid's room. But this is Henry's office. So that's very interesting. My own personal path, Panthenon. These figures have always been a huge inspiration to me. I could just not bring myself to leave them behind in France when I moved here. The plaque says, Eos, goddess of the dawn. The plaque says, I can't even say that, goddess of memory and words. Yeah, I, can't, I cannot say that. Apollo statue. The plaque says Apollo, god of music and the sun. If Henry makes it back in time, we should have a picnic in the garden. Okay. Sword. Grandma Winterborn. I knew her in the last years of her life. A remarkable woman. Grandpa Winterborn. Never met him. And from what I know, all for the better. I reckon he was old-fashioned. 
when it came to crossing class boundaries. On to the parlor. I... I feel dizzy. Why was I going downstairs again? I'm not sure now. Was I not going back to my room? <sighs> We're just not gonna make it downstairs, are we? No, I'm sinking down into my chair. I don't know what's wrong. I feel so weak. Now we're back to square one. That was lovely while it lasted. Another leather. Looks like she's having a hard time just trying to stay focused. Lord Windsor now. What is this? Deepest condolences, again? But there's more. I am aware of the dire situation of the Winterborn family. Rumors about that precious Ming vase, one of the few pieces not yet sold, surviving on your fortune alone. I believe that our union would be nothing but mutual beneficial. This is outrageous. What is this all about? I must find the housemaid. I demand an explanation. Besides, she has the key to the cabinet. Watch, she's gonna walk out here. And she's gonna forget why. Did Lord Sox do this? She's gonna be wondering why she's out here and she's gonna wanna go back into her room. I can't hear anything. Seems like the room is empty. Or maybe they are hiding from me. Whispering in the dark. How dare they? Paranoid. I feel so tired, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I feel so tired. Looks like she's a ghost. Did you see how transparent she is? Look, she's so transparent right here. I think she's a ghost. I can't stop thinking about that outrageous letter. The family's Ming vase? You'll see what I think about that Ming vase. Is she gonna destroy it? Is this the vase he was talking about? I wonder if a thousand tiny pieces will be as valuable as a whole vase. Putain de Mirade. Or Dermade. Dermade. Good. There's no medicine left in my room. There should be more downstairs. Ooh, yeah, I see she's transparent. So I wonder if she's dead. But she couldn't have picked that up if she wasn't. So maybe it's just the way it's designed. floor. Uh, books and more books. Here's one and another. Uh, try this one. I don't recognize this title. Where did it come from? When did this come from? An unbearable jargon of clock of the clock medica. Poetry. What good has it ever done? Just being unbearable right now. My medicine should be in that cabinet. But you gotta get the key. 
There it is, hidden in the back among the glasses. But I don't have the key, and I have no idea where the maid is. Well, I'll smash the bloody thing open if I need to. Rest, maybe later. There used to be flowers here. Shreds, something that used to be a painting. Oh, she's gonna probably use the, uh, the fireplace to poke her. Only ash, this is not the fire I seek. I thought there would be a poker. Oh! Hmm. Yes. This will work. Hold on, we'll look around a little bit more. I could sink in it. It's silent now. No more voices. That must be the t TV. Or the radio. Fresh, she's actually watching, walking over them. It's fresh, she didn't say anything pertaining to it. A faint ticking. Why'd you have to walk to it to, to point that out? I might do half of this and then I'll probably um, pause it. Take a nap. After this one, though. Glass inside glass, to be admired from afar and not touched. What a sad fate. Everything looks so lively. I've never been too fond of this painting. It is so solemn and joyless. Henry's taste can be so old fashioned sometimes. A cat purring on your lap, the sound of logs cracking. No better way to spend those rainy English autumn afternoons. Henry's favorite spot, after his study of course. The perfect spot to read a book by the fire. There's no fire to stir. My gramophone! I have so many memories attached to all these records, especially the ones I brought back from my trip abroad with Maman. Which one shall I play first? Hmm. There we go. Such a delicate piece. What shall I play after this? I love how she's like just headbanging. Imagine her like listening to music. Or uh not music. Metal music. It's going. That'd be crazy. Isn't it too dreamy? What should I play after this? It does sound very lovely though. I do like this. This kind of music so underappreciated, I guess. It really sounds of its time. Look at her dancing. All right. But this is not the way it happened. My trip with my mind, I need to remember. The smell of fresh flowers in the morning is one of life's subtle pleasures. Okay, so I know she had something to do with this it is a table clock in the shape of a bust but it needs winding and the key is missing I think we ought to sort that out right
Well, I guess we'll try to go upstairs. To the hallway? Let's try to go to the hallway, I mean... Imagine there's nothing up here that really worth anything, right? That worth talking about. So the vase is still here. This vase, or that vase, it feels like it shouldn't be there. And there's something else missing, but I can't remember what. The cup? It's weird. I keep having this feeling that Henry is in his study, but I haven't heard his car arrive yet. Must be deja vu. Okay. What peculiar dreams am I having lately? Oh, I look just fine. Why is he taking so long? It's going to get dark. Okay. So, something missing from the hallway. Oh, I miss you both. I'll be visiting soon. I guess we're going to the parlor again. Neither. None of them. Oh, I can go to the foyer. I didn't even know there was a foyer. It sounds like the servants are talking in the foyer. But I do not need anything from right that, them right now. And I should not eavesdrop. It is rude. Of course. It doesn't mean you're eavesdropping if you're just gonna walk right in there. It is a table clock in the shape of a bus, but the, I, it needs winding and the key is missing. Yeah. I forgot about the books. There are some interesting books here. Far afield, a woman cry. I have killed him, I loved. And from a jar, she poured blood upon the flowers whose petals are whiter than snow and whose hearts are pure gold. What is this? What is this book doing here? One of those awful boring technical books that Henry's dad liked to keep around. Striking as they might look, decorative clocks such as those embedded within busts or statues lack precision and reliability. Such models exhibit an average delay of seven minutes when referenced against a classic long case clock. This is, of course, unacceptable. Well, of course, unacceptable. And so you see that this novel, so tightly interwoven with cessation, suddenly riven by bottomless chasms, as if the claim to portray vital fullness revealed the void beneath. Hmm, I'm not familiar with this offer, Italian. It sounds very modern. Hmm. 
got another ant. I keep getting these ants on me, I swear. So I'm needing, I guess I need a winding key, but I don't know where to find one. Unless it's on the floor. But I don't think it is. I don't think it's on a wall. Go to the bedroom again, I guess. I'm kind of confused on what to do with this part. Alright, well, I'm gonna pause right here. Or at least stop right here, but I'm gonna... Save the game. And I'm gonna continue on later on, hopefully. So I want to be able to finish this. So, uh, hopefully we'll figure out what we need to do next, because I'm kind of at a loss on what exactly I need to do. I can't go anywhere, honestly. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do. So, I'll be right back, okay? So, you should see me return now. Okay, so I should be back now so I think okay so I guess we're gonna go back downstairs and we're gonna go down and I guess listen to music maybe because she says that she'd rather listen to the record player and I imagine that's what we need to do Such a delicate pace. I don't know if we have to listen to the whole piece or not, because I'm, I know that we ended up looking around, we didn't really find anything, anything different anyways, so. I guess I'm gonna change the song. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I need to do, but. It's interesting how she sways. It's like the, the songs kind of tell you how she feels, or how she feels towards them, I guess, you know, like what she experiences from the songs. change it again I don't I don't know what exactly I'm supposed to do here
but this is not the way it happened. I trip with Maman and need to remember. So her trip with Maman. Uh, glasses, okay. Well, she wants to remember her trip with Maman. So, logically... Well, I don't think there's anything in the books, right? Maybe we need to go... Let's go to the bedroom. I feel like there's something in the bedroom I'm missing. Picture frames, right? There's some of my favorite. Maman and I. Maman, Maman. Do I have to listen to the... To the record? I, I, I guess I have to. Hold on, let me check. Because I'm very confused. Like, it's... She's basically insisting on listening to the records. And I don't want, like... I don't know how long the songs are. I don't want them to be, like, an, like a, just on repeat. And then it'd be like, okay, well, clearly... You know, like... She's not getting anything. I'm, I'm not progressing in the story at all. So I'm going to be right back. I think maybe I got to play them in a certain order. And maybe it's because of the bookshelf. Maybe I just didn't pick up on the right order. So we're going to do this one first. This one now. Scandalous. I think since there's different dialogue, I think maybe we are getting onto the right track here. Hopefully, this last one will do it. Sun, it's so grating. What on earth was that? Okay. Okay, so I don't know what to do now. Maybe I should go back. Oh. Okay. So, I guess we're gonna go back to the bedroom now. Let's see. It's weird. I keep having the feeling that Henry is in his study, but I haven't heard his car arrive yet. Must be deja vu. Okay, so we're just gonna go to the bedroom. Oh, look, the drape uh, cloth is on this now. My harp, who did this? The shadow, it's, it's wrong. Okay, so now we're back. Hmm. 
She's such a ghost of herself right now. I guess we're gonna go back down to the foyer. I don't need them anymore. My medicine is downstairs. She she seems like she's fading more and more. Maybe it's just me. But I feel like she's more transparent than what she was before. So we're going down to the parlor. I feel like she's drunk all her or yeah, drunk all her medicine. So what will she do? Ah, it's still here. And we are back. Oh. Where did this come from? It's a letter from Lord Fitzroy. He is a friend of Henry's, if I remember correctly. Hope this letter finds you well. Wish to offer my most profound condolences. What? So, darling, as to propose an arrangement for our mutual benefit, I dream of holding your hand. Yes, a man can dream. Oh, to walk with you in your lushness of your beautiful con conservatory. Is this a marriage proposal? Is this real, or did somebody put opium tincture in my morning tea? This has to be a prank. Nobody in the right mind would dare send something like this. I must find the housemaid, provided this isn't some lark of hers. She should know who delivered this. I recall I heard her earlier in the foyer. Okay. So, up to the foyer, maybe. Okay. It doesn't look like the maid is here. But I hear voices. It seems to be stopped. The hands are stuck at 3 o'clock. Maybe I can use that key to wind it? There's a newspaper. Oh, it's the issue of Paris Sawyer that featured our wedding. Everybody made such a thing out of it. Many were shocked today upon learning of the engagement of the extravagant heiress to the Beauvoir's jewelry empire. Mademoiselle Valerie Beauvoir to Henry Winterbourne, Lord Winterbourne of Cheatham Green. In a move seen as uncharacteristic for the socialite, whose friendships with avant-garde artists such as Germain Dulace or Fernard Laguerre are well known, God. she declared her intention to move to the family manor in Wiltshire, England leaving behind a life of glamour in Paris for Britain's green pastures. Despite the loud rumors regarding the ruinous financial situation of the Winterborn family, the heiress insisted, insists that this is a marriage of love, and that moving to the calm of the countryside would be a welcome change for her after the frantic activity of the last few years. Oh, I do love it here so much. Interesting. This is the main door. My umbrella is here, but Henry's is missing. He must have taken it with him. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if this works. Ugh. It's, it is too tall. I cannot reach the winding hole. Three o'clock it is, then. Alright. I am not dressed to go outside. So I imagine... We're going to have to come back here, but I can rewind that other clock, right? The table clock. The winding key from the standing clock should fit here. Perfect. I can wind the clock now. 
What time shall I set it? Uh, let's put 12.21 Hmm, I don't know what I was expecting Perfect, I can wind the clock now What time shall I set? Uh, wait Maybe 3 o'clock? Hmm, I don't know what I was expecting. Okay, so we gotta find a time. Maybe let's check the books. Let's see, a treaty on clocks. One of those awful boring blah blah blah. Okay. Average delay of seven minutes when referenced against a classic long clock. This is of course unacceptable. Well of course unacceptable. So maybe 307. Seven minute delay. So zero zero three zero seven. Hmm, I don't know, okay. A seven minute delay. What happened here? Why is nobody taking care of this mess? Okay. Uh... Hmm. Let me go back to the foyer. There's gotta be something, right? It is set to three o'clock. I guess I should have to say this way. But it says a seven minute delay. Oh, well maybe that clock is has a seven minute delay. So maybe it's too 53 253 maybe and if that's not it then I have no idea It is working again. The me mechanism is ticking and the hands are moving. And it is that the grandfather clock? It is working too now. Okay. So let's go back to the foyer. The clock is working again. Just like I. I'm not sure now. When was that? I was here browsing the afternoon papers. Lord Sox rushed in. The clock chimed. He ran into the con conservatory. What had the little rascal done? I cannot remember. Oh, no matter. It'll come back to me. Now, about that Lord Fitzroy. There must be somebody in this house who can tell me what is going on. Uh, let's go to the conservatory. Wow, okay. Did I see something move there? I'm very curious of her condition. No, not quite, but there is a rustling of leaves somewhere. Probably the cat. Camellias are so delicate, with their snow-white petals and tiny golden hearts. Hmm, must have been my imagination. Check the bushes. 
My goodness, so many bugs. This needs a trim. Is that a ficus? Or a ficus? I don't know much about these plants. The azaleas look lovely today. So many times I have sat on this bench and just let my mind wander. Well, I was going to click on the water, but I guess we're going to the bench now. I'm so lucky to have my very own Sancta Sanctorium. Okay. The water looks so serene. Oh, there I am. This foliage is so thick, a tiger could hide here. Looks like you can go this way, but I guess not. This baby ivy will soon start climbing the wall. So I saw... I must remind myself to ask the gardener to trim this a bit. She started running this way. I wonder what for. Possibly the best spot in the house. Enjoying the morning sun with a cup of tea is something I never did very often back in Paris. Did I see something move there? No, not quite here, but there's a rustling of leaves somewhere. Well, the only thing I can think of is the bushes. Right? Got an ant on me. These damn ants won't leave me alone. Okay, so where? The rustling of leaves. The only other place... Is this... Over there. There was something here stirring the leaves, and then suddenly a blur, a chase, the clinking sound of porcelain. Okay, porcelain, I can... Oops. gotta be over here but she keeps making the same remarks I don't know it's something about porcelain It's in this spot because she says it's rustling of the leaves, therefore it has to be at least in here.
Let's see, she runs across. It has to be this area. I don't know. It's very tricky because there's not much else, you know, because she mentions rustling of the leaves. And so we come over here and then we click on it and it shows her spirit running across to these bushes. But she keeps making the same comment about the bushes. So I don't know what exactly I need to do. It really sucks because it's like I don't want to have to look to find out what I need to do. But I'm kind of lost. I mean, do I need to leave? But then it wouldn't really solve anything because I need to find out what's rustling the bushes. I'm trying to find, I guess, the cat. But I can't. There's nothing else to look for. Maybe this goes to the parlor? No. I have no idea. Yeah, see? So she goes and investigates it. And then I click this. And then her ghost obviously runs off. And she says, over there. And so she goes to investigate over there. It says something stirring in the leaves. Chase and then clinking sound of porcelain. Now I have no idea where this porcelain is. Did you have? Uh, must have been my imagination. Unless maybe I'm not clicking him right. Maybe I need to start there. Okay, so go investigate it. Maybe there's a sequence here, and that's what I'm missing, is there's a sequence. Okay, and then this. There's a trail, I feel like. Maybe I need to come here? Yes. Okay, so there is a sequence. And we're starting to pick this up. We're starting to get this. Like, ah, oh, it's screen, I'm sorry. Here, a scream of pain, red streaks. Then, knuckles white like snow, hands so cold. So cold. Mm, maybe this. She's washing her hands. Oh dear, no. Okay, so we're getting there. We're figuring it out. The water's no longer screaming. Then where is the sadness coming from? Maybe the bench. It is stronger here. What is this sorrow? Why do I feel this way? This place is always so soothing to me. But those sensations, they were so vivid and unsettling. In the water, I could have sworn I felt. Wait, what is that? Seems there's something at the bottom of the pond. But I am not reaching into that filthy water with my bare hands. I need to find something to help me drag it out. 
the fire poker. Maybe that. They are quite dirty. I do not want to end up covered in soot either. Maybe I can find something else. about this the umbrella stand this should work an umbrella okay that was my next guess but i didn't want to be too sure about it i figured the fire poker but i guess she doesn't want to dirty the pond didn't take that into consideration Dear Lord, what happened to you? Who did this? Is that the cat? Did nobody see anything? Where is everybody? Help! I must find help. Okay. Lord Socks. Oh. I think she killed the cat. There has to be somebody here. There has to be. Hello? Can anybody hear me? I don't understand. I left this on the table. Am I going mad? But this is not the par Paris Square. It's the London Evening Standard. Many were shocked today upon learning of the passing of Henry Winterbourne, Lord Winterbourne of Chetham Green, in a tragic automobile accident. As the car in which he was riding rolled up towards the driveway of the Winterbourne Manor, the family cat which has been missing for days, dashed onto the road in front of the vehicle. The chauffeur gave the driving wheel a sharp turn. No, no, no. Henry, dead? This is absurd. He's here. He's, he's upstairs. I was waiting for him to come home. But he never arrived because he was here the whole time. Of course, how silly of me. That's it. He must be in his study. He'll know what to do. He's in his study. He's upstairs. He'll know. I need to see him. I need to see him now. So, the cat is the reason I'm his demise. And so she's been bummed out about it this whole time. And so she ended up killing the cat because of her grief. That is crazy. Henry, are you there? Henry? Henry. What have they done to you? Why did they hide you from me? I've missed you so much, my love. I've been away for a while, but I'm here now. Henry, I did something terrible. It wasn't his fault. He didn't deserve it. But it hurt so much when you left. And I had such dreams, such terrible dreams. But I found you now. And I'm never going to let them take you away from me again. I just need one more sip of my medicine. And then I'll come back for you and take you home. We are going to Paris, my love. This actually makes me sad. I'll be right back. This actually makes me really sad. Like, I almost want to cry because it's so sad. Oh, see all the paintings are on the floor. 
It means to me so far away, flickering like a roll of film. You would have understood. You would have forgiven. Mom, Dad, I'm barely here anymore. It got dark so fast. No more sleep. No more dreaming. It's crazy. So it's, it took, took a really dark turn, sadly. Now the reality's kind of shifted, and so everything's kind of fallen into place. I can make it stop now. A cold, watery grave. A swirling, yawning void. A roaring, primal scream. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. You inbred bastard. Wow. Another one of those awful letters. No, it's an invitation to a masked ball. How delightful. Did Henry send this? Will he be there? Oh, I hope so. What a surprise that would be. This must be my mask then. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I figure she drunk herself to death. So this story so far has a lot of sorrow. And I was expecting Henry to meet me here, yet I can't seem to find him. He must be here. Who else could have sent that invitation? Interesting. I've been asking myself the same question. I'm sorry. And you are? Apologies. My name is Jordan Samuels. I am a doctor. Your conversation caught my attention because I too cannot recall boarding this train or even waiting at any station. Given the weather outside, I reckon I must have surely brought a coat with me, yet there seems to be no cloak room anywhere. I have attempted to bring this up with some of the other guests, but unlike you, do not they do not seem to be bothered by it. I cannot explain it, but I feel like I... We should not be here. What do you mean by that, Doctor? Where else do you reckon you should be? I'm not sure you would even believe me if I told you, ma'am. Oh, don't worry about that, dear. If you only knew how much these old eyes have seen, I doubt anything could surprise me at this point. Please, sir, I think we all wish to hear what you have to say. Oh, I for one most definitely do. Very well. I guess I should start at the beginning, then. I had been working late into the night. But these stories are so tragic, but it's so crazy. You know? It's like each individual's story of their d descent into maybe madness. And through the incision here, we can observe that the pancreas shows signs of inflammation. This tells us that the patient likely suffered from... Dr. Samuels? Hmm... I don't know what this is. I would say alcoholism, but I want to go with the more crazy term. So, this one. Well, this surely indicates that. Excuse me, Dr. Hayward? Yes, Mr. Lau. Why are you talking to the janitor? Now, now, boys, calm down. Dr. Samuels, you are saying? This one. Yes, from this first glance, we can infer that he doesn't look like a doctor to me. More like a hoodlum. Keep an eye on the scalps, Dr. Hayward. We don't want him to stick up us up. Yeah, he could rob us blind and disappear into the shadows. Maybe I'm choosing the wrong answer. I bet he's stealing material from the infirmary. Yes, to sell it to whatever criminal elements he is in cahoots with. Check his pockets, Dr. Hayward. Some supplies have, in fact, gone missing lately. See? I knew it. Let's search him. Somebody hold him. 
the nightmares are getting worse. With every day of fasting, I have felt my will slip, slipping further and further. But today marks the 33rd day. Tonight, I can complete the ritual. I must carry out the final preparations. There is no time to lose. Those buffoons. Soon they all will all know what I am really capable of. Alright. Okay. So... One second. Okay, so let me see. Alright. Oops. Wounded man. <laughs> the wounded man. An ancient medical illustration showing different types of injuries and diseases. This one has some particularly interesting notes. The sun rules the int intellect. Venus makes the heart yearn. Mercury is the hand of darkness. Mars wields the sword. Jupiter hungers for power and casts Saturn's genitals into the sea. I will need this later. These are the ingredients I require for the first part of the ritual. I need to burn the appropriate herb in each bowl. Or bowl. But before I get started, I should bring Mr. Williams' morphine. It's probably in my jacket pocket. Okay. Scribbles. I sometimes hear them talking of terrible places in my sleep. I try to write them down as much as I can when I wake up. But there's so much I am missing. A chapel in the wilderness. Fire among the moaning trees. A theater. A dripping blade. The hateful whispers of the dead. Sunken library. Where memories are drowned in voices from the past echo in the darkness. What does it all mean? The neighbors again. Always the same fighting and screaming. The fiery summons by H. Zidkova. Hmm. Zidkova's forbidden opus in six volumes. This is the passage I need. The sun burns to golden flames, a violet mantle shall devour mercury. Cast ye the symbol of Venus onto flames of emerald, and engulf the crimson, all that belongs to Mars. A raging azure inferno, for Jupiter, a black grave for Saturn. I think I have it memorized now. Let's see. Bed. I'm afraid of sleeping. There's my jacket. I should take it to him before I get started. My career at the hospital is already on shaky ground. The last thing I need is to be caught taking supplies home. But it's tuberculosis is terminal, and this is the only thing that can grant him some relief at this point. A copper bowl, green from corrosion. An iron bowl, covered in red rust. A bowl of black lead. If I perform the ritual correctly, the guardian should manifest himself in the mirror. If I face him with cover or courage, he shall grant me power beyond all imagining. But if there is fear in my heart, well, I have nothing to lose anyway. There's a spot in my heart that's become a part of my New York. <sighs> I truly thought things would be different here. So we probably no need to go see... The guy with tuber tuber tuberculosis. Okay, so this is the neighbor. The Johnsons are always fighting. One of these days, it will end tragedy. It end in tragedy. I tried intervening once, but they almost beat me up. Some things never really change, even here. I think this is where I need to go. Good evening, Mr. Williams. Dr. Samuels, I am so glad to see you. I was worried you wouldn't come. I apologize. I got held up at the hospital today. How is he doing? Not good. Not good, doctor. He can't barely breathe no more. And that cough, it ain't never been this bad before. Do you think he's... I am so sorry, Mrs. Williams. I wish I could do something. Despite all the medical advances of our era, Consumption is the battle we've yet to win. 
This will help with the pain, at least. Thank you, Dr. Samuels. Bless your soul. Thank you. No need to thank me, Mrs. Williams. It's, it, it is my sacred duty. Go to him now. He needs you. Yes. Yes, of course. Thank you so much. Good night, Dr. Samuels. Bless you. The Johnsons are always fighting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just want to check and make sure if anything might have been different. Alright, so, what are we needing to do now? Hmm. It is the lower magical process to make the guardian of the threshold physically visible by producing a particular mixture of numbers, of a number of substances. A truly terrible spectral being confronts the ma being confronts the magician, and he will need the presence of mind and faith in the security of his path. Seek not, then. To cross the threshold until thou dost feel thyself entirely, entirely free from fear and ready for the highest responsibility. Okay. All right. I can begin the final preparations now. Okay. So, looks like there's some crawling on me. No. Okay. Uh. I need to see. Oh, here we go. Good thing I didn't start. This is the most complete treaty I have found in the eocentric use of herbs and plants. Okay, this is the passage I need. The sun shines on the helotrife. Mercury smells of fresh hyssop. The vision of Wormwood rules over Mars. Venus is the sweetness of the rose. Sage is the wisdom of Jupiter. Hemlock is Saturn's blessing. I think I have memorized now. Okay. So let me see. I will require this later, but first I need to place the correct herbs in the bowls in order to align the gates. Sunburns in the golden flames. The violet mantle shall devour mercury. Emerald. Okay, emerald. Crimson, which I, do, I would imagine is Mars. Black for Saturn. So, wait, okay, so, Venus is Emerald, Mars is Crimson, Saturn, so Venus, Mars, Venus, Mars, Saturn, okay. Okay, Wormwood would be Mars, Venus would be the Rose, Hemlock, Saturn. Wormwood is Mars. Venus is the Rose. And then Saturn is Hemlock. Hopefully, that is correct. Just what I need. Okay, so I would imagine because it's lead, it would be black, but I think it's more of a grayish tone. The elements are aligned. Now I must mark my skin with blood. One small cut in each spot shall suffice. Uh, well, I don't know where your knife is, good sir. The astral chart. The stars are right. Mars, Venus, and Saturn are aligned tonight. After months of enduring this, their mockery with fists and teeth clenched, after months of study and discipline, the moment has arrived. The moment to reach out to forces beyond this world. Okay, so I, I don't know. I know I must mark myself with the blood before I can call on the guardian. Well, I cannot do that unless you tell me where. 
It is time. Okay, so I guess this. I must use the ritual dagger on myself. While I am clicking on you, I I guess let me get your hand. Oh, wait. Groans. I forget. Okay, the sun rules the intellect. Venus, okay, so the heart. And balls, I guess. So. Chest. The groin. Yes, that was it. It is time to enter the circle. Okay, I feel like I mis made a mistake the first cut. But I could be wrong. He says this was it. What? What is this? This is not what I expected. Am I meant to cross over? Go to him? So be it then. Adonis Fortuna Evot. You, you want, whatever. Interesting. Where am I? Is this really the other side? And that, that must be the guardian at long last. I must remain calm and focused. I prepared myself for this moment. I am worthy. Nobody has slept here in a very long time. The moment has come. Oh, great keeper of the gates, guardian of the threshold, I beseech thee, hear my plea. I have opened the way, I face thee without fear. Soil, bitter blood, void price. Putrid rotten price. The prince price, taken scorn price. Bailed. Trapped flesh, unworthy, unworthy, unworthy. My name is Jordan Samuels. I seek knowledge. My name is Jordan Samuels. I seek healing. My name is Jordan Samuels. I seek revenge. Oh. I seek knowledge. It would probably be more appropriate. Teach me the, thy lessons of wisdom that my intellect might prevail. Memory drowned. Mind. Livian drowned. Darkness, putrid, water, voices, under, toe. I, I do not understand. According to my books, he should speak clearly and distinctly and offer counsel and guidance. Whatever this creature is, it is not the guardian. What am I meant to do now? Why is the guardian not here? I carried out every step of the ritual to summon his physical form. What else do I need to do? Sacred, all burn, erase, price? I don't like the CR. Mind, tribute, purpose, flesh, vice, soul. Not once and not only one failure. This makes no sense. None of the texts I read mentioned something like this. This one. Where am I? What is this place? I have another ant. Sacred crossroads stirred together. Sorry, it's fucking ants, man. I can barely make sense of this gibberish. Crossroad? Is that what this place is? Some sort of limbo? Okay, I guess we're doing this last time. Where art thou then? Speak thy name. Once, ever, Jordan, trapped, always, doctor, together. Gone, scalpel, was, un, both, worth, 
Samuel's we trap to punish both ever flesh punish. Madness, I am Jordan Samuels, me, vile creature, trickster. Ha 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 ha. I don't know Ha lu ha ya ha le ha ha. Why is the guardian not here? I carried out every. Yeah. What else? This makes no sense. Okay, I am wasting my time. I would not get any answers here. I need to try to make sense of all this. Let's try the scribbles. These look like my notes. Is this my handwriting? How can this be? I don't do not remember ever writing this. I have given my memories away to the waters. I barely remember who I am. My soul is a scorched, blackened stump. All my acts of kindness undone. I do not know what they will demand of my body. I fear this has all been for nothing. But I cannot turn back now. God help me, if he still remembers my name. Strange. Let's see. It seems like I cannot leave this place. There was a passage in the book. You illuminate the darkness ahead of thee. Take not a single step forward until thou art positive that thou hast sufficient oil in thine own lamp. The lamps of the guides whom thou hast hitherto followed will now no longer be available to thee. Yet the light seems to be keeping him alive, taking me away might kill him. But the flame of knowledge has always been my guiding beacon. No matter how unpleasant its truth turned out to be, no matter the price. I must follow its path to the end. I must do this. I feel like that is that this world's version of myself. I shall not waver. I shall not fail. So I feel like this is this world's version of my of my character, Jordan. A warning, but I shall not fail. Looks like there's no going back through here. Okay, cool. Awesome. Interesting. This is definitely different. I feel like I need to turn that. The Johnsons. Something terrible happened here. I'm surprised I didn't fall through. Dear Lord, is it alive? Mrs. Williams, is that you? Are you all right? Oh, you monster! You killed him! You monster! I cannot let this get to me. It is a test. Just a test. I did what I had to. stairs they no longer go up to the street but downwards guess we're going down this is certainly taking an interesting turn to say the least <sighs> i cannot see anything ahead it looks like a dead end but it has to be this way there's nowhere else to go There are books lo and loose pages floating in the water. Where could they have come from? Okay. This reminds me of that Forever game I played. If you guys actually watched it. It's pretty recent. I would highly recommend checking it out. I recognize those bookshelves. I've seen this place before. In my dreams. I was lost in a maze of corridors trying to find something, but I cannot remember what or why. Most, most of these books are moldy and rot, but some of them are in a surprisingly good condition. I guess we're gonna keep going. Well, 
romance novels, love stories, bundles of letters. This whole section is a monument to the depths of the human heart. I wonder if I can go down here. There are barely anything left in these shelves. I can only make out some tomes, bar bar Q, classic music, classical music, and some titles in Arabic. Keep going. I'll probably have to circle back up there, I guess. This is certainly different. Now, I'm wondering if I'm going to encounter anything while I'm here. This whole section seems to contain only military treatises and history books. Uh, I'm going to go up. You never know. Oh, I was a librarian. God. Another creature. It is not acknowledging me. Does it not know I am here, or does it simply not care? Should I try to make my presence known? Uh, let's hold on. I, I want to see. I can barely make any of these out. Most of them don't even have titles. They look like diaries and manuscripts. Okay, so I'm not going to go any further. I'm going to talk to the creature. I might end up having to explore this place a little bit. Hey, are here. My name is Jordan Samuels. I have walked these aisles in dreams. Art thou the keeper of this place? It is paying me no heed. I don't think it is listening to me. There seems to be something else. What is this writing? A memory of Jordan Samuels, born eight or April twenty eighth or twenty seventh, uh, eighteen ninety seven. A memory of Dr. Samuels, field medic. A memory of Jordan, loving betrothed. A memory of that darkie down in the street. A memory of Mr. Samuels, music aficionado. That is me. That is my life. It seems to be listening to something. What is it writing? Okay. So, clearly, we didn't get anything from that. This place feels old beyond words. Whispers, they seem to be coming from this corridor. Humidity and mold has damaged these beyond recognition. Could these, these have been drafts of stories? Last wills? Confessions, maybe? Stacks and stacks of loose pages, most of them handwritten, but some are typed. The whispers are coming from this book. There is a note inside, and not any note, that note. That furiously scribbled threat slipped into my mailbox one night. Always the stares, the murmurs uttered under their breath, or the jeers and the scoffs if they felt courageous enough. I never threw it away. What is it doing here? This must mean something. I have to bring it back to that creature. I wonder what the note says. It wants the book. eats it too <laughs> what am i doing here was it was i not i was holding was i carrying something or perhaps it was that dream it looks so much like this place was that creature there too what does it want should i try talking to it so i think does it erase erase its his memories It is paying me no attention whatsoever. It looks like it was trying to hear something else. What is it writing? Okay, let's see if anything different. I don't know why, but I feel like there is something missing. 
Okay, so maybe we need to find more stuff. Oh, a baby. They all look like children's books. Bedtime stories, fables, fairy tales. So these are probably things that he's read or th maybe even thought about written in his life. Children's book stories. I recognize some of these titles. Tales of Anansi, The Adventures of Rear Rabbit, all these pretty little horses. It is growing louder. How could there possibly be a child in this place? There seem to be photo albums rather than books. There are some framed photographs lying around too. They all feature babies and young infants. This, okay, yeah, I've already read this. It is coming from inside this photo album. This, this is my family. Grandparents, father, aunts, mother. So this baby she's holding must be me. But I have never seen this photograph before. What is it doing here? I should bring this book back to that creature. Maybe it was guiding me to it for some reason. And watch, my memory is going to be erased again. It wants the book. And it eats the book. What am I doing here? Was I not? I was holding. Was I carrying something? Or perhaps it was that dream. It looks so much like this place. Okay. So, I think we have one more place to go. And I think it's down here. Music. That must be a very close now. Or that music was, is very close now. There must be a gramophone in somewhere. I would imagine it's down here. No, it's up here. Okay. Yeah. There is no gramophone. The music is coming from inside this book? The sheet of music for Fritz Chrysler leap sled. Of course it is. The day I received this acceptance letter from Chicago College of Medicine and Surgery, I borrowed a tuxedo off oh, shit. I, it did seem back like then like I was destined for great things. I never thought my quest for knowledge would come to such a screeching, frustrating halt. But I have the opportunity to fix that now. I have come so far. Maybe if I take this book back to that creature, I will get some answers. Uh, if you guys want to go back and look to see what that said, I accidentally clicked the, uh, the right mouse button. wants the book. And it's gone. What am I doing here? Was I not? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have to keep doing that. So I think we might have one more book. Sounds as if a battle was taking place right here, but I see nothing except books. I can barely read any of the titles on the shelf. Books are caked in fried mud. It is coming from this book here. A map. Schultz, France, September 1918. They called this the Harlem Hellfighters. Took that village while bombs rained on us like fire from the sky. But we took so many casualties that we were taken off the line the very next day. So many of us never went back home. For better or for worse, the things I saw there made me who I am today. This cannot be a coincidence. The creature clearly wants me to find it. I should bring it back and see what it wants. I feel like 1918... That was pretty close to World War One, right? 
or the Armenian Genocide. I can't tell. I know a 1912 about the uh, Armenian Genocide. Who wants the book? What am I doing here? Was I not? Okay, so I think there might be another book I need to find. Check up here. I might need to come down here. Yeah. Who is that? It sounds more and more familiar the closer I get. It is coming from this book. There is a letter inside. This envelope, this handwriting, I don't even need to open it. I am sorry, Enos. You deserve so much more. But New York felt like that place I needed to be after the war. So much was happening there, so many opportunities. Did the creature want me to find this? Is it trying to tell me something? I guess there's only one way to know. Maybe this is the last book. I feel like it is. I wonder if Eunice was his old, was his wife. He wants the book. Oh, there we go. I feel like this is the war zone. Where am I? How did I get here? I don't remember anything. Who? Who am I? Dear Lord, what happened here? Crater and a dead soldier's remains. Did a did battle take place here? A soldier's corpse. I guess we might need to move forward. Oh. Looks like Canada. Where have I seen this banner before? It looks so familiar. Looks like a man shipped infirmary. I. Or makeshift infirmary. I. Somehow familiar with these kits. The bell tower has been blown to smithereens. This place must have been sustained a terrible bond. Yeah, it looks like a Canadian flag. Bloody white sheet is covered in covering a body. Bloody sheets and what seem to be corpses. This must have been an improvised field hospital. There's some dirty rainwater pooled up in the basin. Oh, there's a person up here, a father. Reverend Williams. Dr. Samuels, welcome to the Chapel per Perilous. I've been waiting for you. Do I know you? Apologies, I seem to have... What did you call me? It's all right. I know what you've done. It's all gone now, your name. But yes, you do know me. You did a good thing for me once. Did I? Yes, and never for a moment did you hesitate. You took the fire of divinity into your hands, and acted with the certainty of a thunderbolt. Life and death laid bare before you. Such a sight to behold. That sounds arrogant of me. It was not your arrogance, but your kindness. You suffered with me, and my pain was yours. But this soul of yours, this kindness, you need it for another purpose. This fire must be welded again. The Guardian? Ah, you still remember, yes. The Guardian, like the texts say, I must become a perfect and glorious being, or fall prey to the corruption. <laughs> Those ants. And should this occur, I will drag thee also down with me into the, a dark and corrupt world. And you do also remember what you brought 
what brought you here, don't you? Yes, I came here seeking knowledge. Yes, and yet, it is also said that my threshold is fashioned out of all the dread of my strength needed to take full responsibility for all thy thoughts and actions. Years, many years ago, you did not take full responsibility for your thoughts and actions. This has been a burden. Today, you must free yourself of this burden of bygone lives. Look, look around you. You abandoned these men. You left them to suffer and die in great pain and agony. You were young then. You didn't know better. Now it is time to rectify that. Free them, Dr. Samuels, like you freed me. And I will hear your confession once your dues are paid. Okay. I have no recollection of any of these things he mentioned. Yet it is somehow rings true. Interesting. The gauze bandage is covering his eyes. Good lord, his hands. Only an explosion could have done this. He seems to be in shock. Soldier, can you hear me? My name is... I... I am a doctor. 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 Not here. Left. He left. Not here. What is your name, soldier? Shh, shh. Sleep. If I could just sleep. Doctor said he'd make me sleep. He said he would. He would come back, help me sleep. But he left. He left. Shh, shh. He is holding onto a pillow, grabbing it with all his strength. Pain must be unbearable. He has been blinded by shrapnel. His hands have been blown off almost completely. And he's delirious with fever. Without antibiotics, he will surely die in a matter of hours or days if he is unfortunate. So, I... Okay. Antibiotics, I'm guessing, is what I'm needing. There might be something useful here. A jar with some opium pills. Eight, maybe ten. They must have been here for a very long time. Opium in tablet form is not very common anymore. If that is the case, they have probably lost a great deal of their potency. I will need to use all of them if I want to. Why do I remember all this? There's nothing left to use there. I probably need to give them to him. I need to find some water. Nobody can swallow these many pills on a dry throat. Some water will help him swallow the pills, but I need a container of some sort. Uh, there has to be one around here somewhere. There might be something over here. Sorry, felt like something was crawling on my face. Let me see. His half his jaw has been shot off. He is wearing an ammo belt. Let me okay, he clearly doesn't have anything, so we're gonna ask this guy. Well, if it isn't Dr. Jordan Samuels himself. So I've been told. Well, I have no memory of my name or what I did to get here. Do I know you? Oh, I do know you. Yes, Doctor, I remember you. I can't ever forget you. I've been here so many times. I've done this so many times. Over and over, waiting here, hoping that you will bring me a bullet so I can blow my fucking brains out. And you just walk away every time. You walk away saying you will help me, and you never look back. You bastard. I am sorry. I am ver so very sorry. I cannot remember any of these things. You're always sorry, Doctor. Have you talked to Shane this time? Quite the nervous fella, ain't he? He remembers everything, over and over. He just wants to sleep, the poor guy. But he can't forget you either. And Jim, seen him yet? Doesn't talk much, that one. Only moans. Sometimes when he's unlucky enough to drift back to the surface. I'm sure he remembers too. I'm sure in that blackness of his theirs, 
of his theirs and name echoing again and again. His legs. He must have stepped on a landmine. Please, soldier, hand me over that gun. I promise I will help you. Wouldn't you like that? Wouldn't you like for me to do that again? Not a chance, doctor. Give me a bullet and I'll take care of it myself. And what is your name? Name's Luke Doc. Lucky Luke, they used to call me. Not anymore, I guess. Ha ha ha. Luke, I. Say, Doc, what do you think will get me first? The gangrene or the infection? Just kidding, I already know. It has happened so many times, always the same way. Not gonna be any different now, is it? There might be. The plank is almost collapsed. I don't think it is safe to cross. And what is this? It looks like a flask. Maybe I need to get the flask. Canteen. Okay, cool. So, there's the canteen. I will get to you after. I am sorry. But I feel like Luke might let me get to him. After I heal these two fellows. Or at least take care of them. I know I can't heal them. But at least take care of them. This will have to do. everywhere, I swear. Here, soldier. You can sleep now. I am sorry for having kept you here so long. Farewell. I hope the pain is finally over. You will no longer need this. Only ashes remain. Okay, so let's go help the soldier over here. It is time to go home, soldier. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. I can take these bullets now. Goodbye, Jim. A handful of ashes. And to give him the bullets so he may shoot himself. I found what you wanted. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Thank you, Doctor. I never thought the day would come. Now you might want to step back a bit. Hope you found your peace at last. This is now. It is done. Time to go to the confessional. This is such a dark game. I thought this was going to be a scary game, but it's still good. I am ready, Reverend. This is such a really good game. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Is there anything you wish to confess? I don't. No. I... I just killed three men. I should feel something. Relief? Guilt? Horror? Pride? Anything. But the only thing I feel is... Empty. Hollowed out. I am so tired. How long has this been going on? How long have I been here? Worry not, you've done well. How? What does that mean? It doesn't matter now. You're almost there, Doctor. There is but one more trial ahead of you, and you shall finally come face to face with the Guardian. But what is the point? I remember nothing, not even who I was. What will I ask? What do I want? 
you need only remember this. You created the Guardian the first time you ever made a choice. And you've been feeding him ever since, with every action, every decision. Every act of charity, every lustful thought, every life saved. Everything you are, he is too. If your soul is corrupt, so is he. And everything you've given up, you'll need to take back from him. Only after confronting him will you be able to cross the threshold. But, fear not, you will understand soon enough. Now go. Whoa. What? A change. Dr. Samuels, so glad you made it. These, the boys and I have been waiting for you. You must be ex so excited, oh, to cross the threshold at last. You have given so much, so much. Well, let's not waste time, shall we? I think you know what to do by now. Oh, no, no. Don't bother. There is nothing left of you but flesh. We are your voice now. You shall speak only through us. I'll pay attention. I have. Given. My mind. To the. Waters. Repeat now, doctor. Listen carefully. I have given my mind to the waters. Okay. I have given. I think it was down here, right? My mind to the waters excellent peel back the first layer now and listen listen carefully i have consigned my soul to the flames repeat doctor i have Signed my soul to the flames. Good, good now. The second layer. Take the scalpel and go ahead. Go ahead, do it. Do it now. Now listen once more. I now surrender my flesh to the blade repeat doctor i now surrender my flesh to the blade excellent excellent now the retractor stretch the skin open the yawning gate the hungry void awaits. Now listen one last time. And I offer my blood to the mirror. Repeat, doctor, repeat. And I Okay, yeah, I, I screwed up that. You are not listening, again. And I... What? <sighs> useless, useless, again. <laughs> okay. And, uh... Wait. Offer. Ah, oh, fuck. You disappoint me, Doctor, again. And I... Offer my blood to the mirror yes yes you know what to do you know what to do open the threshold 
open the path to the Guardian. Become the empty yawning void. Ah. Okay. Time to exit, I guess. Such took such a dark turn. Here we are, back at my place. What is this? Ah, the hollow one, at last. It feels like I have been stuck here for an eternity. Very well then, let's get this over with already. Exist no more now. Oh wow. Yes, yes, at last. Is everything we are then? Is this everything we are then? I should not cross without that invitation. Where did I go? What am I supposed to do? Where is this invitation? I don't see it. I don't see. What am I looking for? Is this I'm supposed to? Where's the invitation, though? That's the that's the thing I'm looking for. It's around here somewhere. Okay, I I don't know where it's at. Oh, usually I'm used to it highlighting itself, but not this time. Time to get out of here. I remember nothing after that. Yes. Well, that's quite a story. Question is, where are we now? What if this is yet another test for me, for all of us? Oh my, what an idea. Look around you, Dr. Samuels. The only thing that is being put to the test here is how many glasses of champagne one can drink. Layla, could I have a word? <sighs> Please excuse me, if you will. As I was saying. Say it is getting hot here? Or say, is it getting hot here? What are you doing mingling with the humans? Are you tricking them again into telling you their stories? You know I can't help it. And you know it's not allowed. What do you find so fascinating about them anyways? I don't know. I wonder how it feels for them, I guess. The pain, the constant struggle, dying alone and forgotten by their own hand even. We can't, oh shit, I keep clicking. Wait, what did you mean by that? By what? By their own hand, even. If that's true, they should be at the back of the train. What are they doing here? I don't know. They just told me. You heard. No, there's something else here. Don't... Don't tell me you invited them personally. Please, don't tell anybody. You gave them masks. You sent invitations. You collected them. I... You can't do this. They weren't meant... They were meant for below. You know how strict the numbers are. Are you insane? They... These ones deserved it. You should have heard what they went through. That is not your call to make. I know. I'm really sorry. It won't happen again, I swear. Oh, for the glory of... All right. All right. I won't say anything, but please don't do this ever again. 
They weren't meant for below. Or they were meant for below. We're still going below. Just a little less steep for them. Eligible for the redemption lottery every 144,000 years, even. Maybe never. It's still a better chance than what they had up there. Please, I just wanted to hear their stories. Layla, Layla. You're going to get us sent to the swamps one day. Interesting storytelling, to say the least. I was not expecting that kind of a little twist at the end. But, very interesting. This whole game has been very interesting. I loved it from start to finish. The stories and how tragic they were. Like, I, I really felt the first one. The second one was just really depressing. You know, like, I really felt for the woman. And then the third one was just sad as well, you know. They were all sad, but they were really, really well put together, and I love it. A death blow is a life. Bl a death blow is a life blow to some who, till they died, did not alive become. Who had they lived had died, but when they died, vitally begun. Emily Dickinson. So this was a really, really good game. I really enjoyed it. I really did. What did you guys think? Did you really like this? This is like, this is something, you know, thinking about it while playing through it. This is the type of storytelling that a lot of modern AAA titles just don't have. And, you know, and it really goes to show that you don't have to have good graphics to have a good game. You don't have to have crazy, insane uh, situations happen. It can be just very somber stuff. And it's so crazy that something like this it's just well done so beautifully done just in every way possible and i'm proud to say that i i'm glad i came across this game i am i'm truly glad that i got the opportunity to be able to play this and it's it's very tragic but i love it i would love to see this done as a movie if anything just no nothing censored about it just everything just from start to finish just the way it is because, like, oh my god, it's so good. Dead Isle, or Idle, yeah, Dead Idle Games, you did such a great job at this game. You did something that most AAA games will never, ever accomplish. And that speaks volumes. I wish more people knew about this game. I wish I could get a hold of people like Markiplier or whatever and say, if you want to play a game, this is a game to play you know i know he, he's like you know he he does a lot of more goofier games you know even when it comes to scary games he plays a lot of goofy games but i would love for him to just play this in a serious mindset you know like he there's a couple of games he's actually done that with and i could see him doing this one right here so i would love to see him do this um but this is just such a good game it really is i'm i'm, I'm honored to be able to play it so if you guys want to play it yourself, I'll put it in the description below. And uh, with that being said, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day. Drink plenty of water, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.